And to Helen Shelton, <laughs> you've been my lifeline for so many years. Thank you for all that you do for this, the, the public relations industry and the entertainment industry. I just want to thank you so much. And for my sorors that are out there, Shannon Hales, my, my wonderful protege, Geneva Thomas, Ellen, of course, is my soror also, who uh, Geneva came here from uh, Detroit, Michigan, and now she's a big star on Bravo TV on Blood, Sweat, Hills. I'm so very, very proud of you. And to a woman who came into my life just four short years ago, Jean Shaffer, an earth angel. Uh, I know you had to have been my sister in my past life, a blood sister. Thank you so much for everything. And to Stephen Hoffenberg, uh, somehow on my bio it was omitted that uh, I'm now the uh, deputy publisher of uh, postpublishing.buzz. I first met uh, Mr. Hoffenberg uh, in 1993 when he single-handedly saved all of our jobs at the New York Post by purchasing it. So thank you for employing me once again at postpublishing.buzz. Um, this Pioneer thing, it, it's been around a long time. At, at home in Ann Arbor, Michigan, I was the first uh, black girl for the Ann Arbor Civic Ballet, the Ann Arbor Junior Theater, the Ann Arbor Civic Theater, the first uh, African-American cheerleader at Ann Arbor here in High. And when I went to work at the New York Post those 32 years ago, I wasn't really trying uh, to be the first African-American woman in the sports entertainment and finally the page six department. I just needed a job. <laughs> and so the late, great Dean Heminger Sr. called me one day and said, you know, the, the Post has an agate clerk position open. At that time, I was writing a column called um, Keep Punching in the African-American newspaper. And he said, they want to hire a sister, so we recommended you for the job. And as I said, I, I just needed a job. I really didn't know I was making history. I left the New York Post after a decade uh, in 1994 and followed Mr. Hockenberg over to uh, her New York newspaper, a daily women's newspaper uh, that he started. Uh, he said, well, you know, you're making 38 grand at the Post. I'll give you 90 grand, your own column, in an office at Trump Tower. I said, well, maybe can I just call him and tell him I'm not coming back? I don't have to go back down there, but I did go back down there. Um, <laughs> well, um, um, due to unforeseen circumstances, her New York closed, but I never looked back. And I went on to the National Examiner, as they said, the columns, the TV, and my own magazine. So. Thank you, uh, Tara, and African American Women in Cinema for this wonderful, wonderful award. Thank you all. Uh, I want to dedicate this award to Jackie Collins, my favorite author. To the, to the greatest journalist in, in the sky who every day writes the scripts and stories of our life, God. And may I continue Jackie's legacy um, my third novel, uh, One Last Deadly Play, will be out um, in the holidays. And I want to just continue her legacy of writing those delicious, trashy novels <laughs> about the entertainment world that we all know are filled with a lot more fact than fiction. Thank you all.